Just how many Lego animals have been made? What's on the inside of a minifigure? How many colors have been produced? S stick around and I, I just might just answer these. Out of all the animals in the kingdom, how many unique species do you think LEGO has made? Including brick-built monstrosities, giant Duplo molds, or anything in between. How many different types of wildlife has LEGO pushed out the door? Not including anything made up like dragons or Star Wars creatures, prehistoric dinosaurs or minions, there are over 100 specialized animals out there. These plastic pets include dogs, cats, fish, pigs, sheep, lots of rodents, snakes, spiders, crabs, birds, frogs, monkey, turtles, elephants, bears, more birds, dolphins, deer, even more birds, horses, stingrays, sharks, octopi, seriously birds, just to mention less than a quarter of all all the available ones that you can go out and buy right now. But which one is the best is not up for debate because it's obviously Bad Monkey. There are a lot, and I mean an absolute crap load of LEGO colors out there. Out of the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, only 201 of them have been produced in official formats where someone could go out and buy those sets at some point in time. But out of all of those official colors, which one's the rarest? To figure it out isn't too terribly difficult. You just have to look at every single color and every single set they've been produced in, how many sets they've been produced in. It doesn't take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to figure that out. Coming in as our fourth rarest production part is the glitter translucent orange color. It was only released on one part in one set ever, but it was released alongside a collectible minifigure just a few years ago. So tens, if not hundreds of thousands of this element has been produced, making it pretty common. For third and second place is light pink and bionicle copper. Light pink only came in one set as a non-plastic part, but that set was a Belleville one which that theme historically did not sell well, and those parts aren't super common now these days. Bionicle Copper, on the other hand, could be argued that it's not as rare because it came in two parts, but one of those parts were only exclusively given away at Legoland Germany. Which one's more rare? I'll leave that up for the comments to decide. Leaving Light Lilac as a Duplo 2x2 brick being the only time this color's ever been sold to the wild. Because Duplo is made for babies and toddlers, not a lot of parts make it onto the secondary market, and because of this fact, only one is available right now and you have to buy a whole set to get it, and it is not very cheap. So maybe next time you're walking around a Lego convention, instead of wearing a Cloud City boat with fed around your neck, maybe you should wear one of these bad boys and show the world just how much of a nerd you are for even knowing that this exists, you freaking dork. You know what really ruffles my feathers? Lego sets just shy of $1,000 coming with only two minifigures. That is an affront to God. Well, probably not because she probably doesn't care about Lego, but that's an affront to something. Why can't it be like the good days when a set would come out and have 20 something minifigures for $400? I don't have the answers to that. So instead, let's look at the Lego sets with the most minifigures and think, if only. The set you can go out and buy right now with the most minifigures is Marvel's Spider-Man's Daily Bugle. But if you're really interested, we can stretch our legs out to the world of Wacky and look at the giant medieval castle chess set with 30 three minifigures. Now you might be thinking, chess doesn't have 33 parts. Yes, but this one has decorations on the round side, bumping up that number to 33. That's still only third place because inside LEGO's educational theme, you could get Little People Plus Accessories, where 36 city minifigures would come along. Little People Plus Accessories is the largest set with normal minifigures. The biggest set, however, has something a little bit more unique with Fabuland. For those not in the know, Fabuland was one of LEGO's early attempts to crack into the furry market. LEGO would sell to stores the Fabuland minifigure retailer box, with 80 furries. Minifigures, sorry. Have you ever wondered what's inside a minifigure? And I'm not referring to the literal sense of plastic and emptiness, but what might be on the inside? We already have the baseline since there are skeletons already made as figures. But there are some more details when looking at the anatomy of a figure. I know it's popular for artists to make literal versions of figures with one toe or one finger because their hands are claw-like. We do have plenty of examples going against that. Figures like Hulk have toes and fingers, and who of course could forget about printing of toes on figures? Delicious. If you really want the good details, you can get a whole footprint on some stickers. There are tons of different x-rays represented by stickers all across different LEGO themes. More interestingly, in some stickers, you can see the brain. I wouldn't have imagined that they would have looked like a donut, but their head shape, I guess that kind of makes sense. We have some better insight of innards than just stickers when we have full-fledged parts representing organs. Now you too can lobotomize your favorite characters. The most basic level of Lego is the brick, and the most iconic brick of them all is the 2x4. And now I'd like to pose a question to you. How many variants of the 2x4 do you think exist? And we're not gonna include things like the clocks, storage containers, magnets, erasers, pencil sharpeners. If your guess is anything lower than 50, you're already out because that number is from retail sets alone. That number more than doubles when you factor in non-production colors. And 105 should be just about it, right? Wrong! There's the Duplo brick, a brick double the size. The Quattro brick is four times the size and has three different colors. Big soft brick, jumbo brick, and 
between EU and American sizes. Technic brick with axle holes. Wheel brick, meant for, you guessed it, wheels. There's the tubeless brick, tiny modulex brick, tubeless bricks with slats in them, Italian bricks, October 1999 brick, gold brick, Minecraft code brick, light bulb brick, hole brick, braille brick, and so, so many more. But even all of those and all of their variants of colors and prints don't come close to the horror that is Samsonite. Before the Lego Group was the worldwide beast that it is today, back in the 60s, they needed to partner with other companies to get their bricks to new markets. Samsonite was the North American partner and their quality control was less than stellar. Between patent pending stamps on the inside and crooked logos on the studs, there were thousands of variations, making it impossible to complete any sort of two by four collection. But what was possible was wasting the last few minutes of your time watching this video. Please subscribe.